Now, one of the main reasons why religion turns violent is when a particular religion sees itself as expressing the moral consensus uh, uh, ethos of a particular group and then aligned itself with the guardians, political guardians, rulers of that order. When in other words, there's a close proximity between state and, uh, and religion. Once that merger happens, it's almost impossible to prevent religion fo from being sucked in into the uh, dynamics of power that it is uh, that that states' existence, government's existence, uh, often is, um, and I think one of the most significant things we can do in order to disentangle uh, religion from violence is to emphasize so strongly the freedom of conscience as well as the separation of the church and state. And once it is functioning this way, once it's functioning in certain sense from a from a cultural, if you want, or power-related margins, it can influence in a salutary way lives that we, uh, that we lead. In other words, I'm not advocating anything like withdrawal on faith from a public engagement, but rather uh, withdrawal of faith from exercise of, uh, of power. I think that's probably the most significant thing that religions can do in order, to, uh, uh, in order to protect themselves from being instrumentalized as the tools of power. Um, many people try to figure out whether uh, only some religions are able of uh, capable of doing that rather than all different religions. I want to make an argument that actually all great religions have internal resources to affirm freedom of conscience, including Islam. Uh, freedom of conscience and also in some ways separation of church and state. 